हेलो वेलकम टू शाई टेक आज के वीडियो में मैं कवर करने वाली हूँ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनली आस्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट्स द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस फॉर अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर प्रोफाइल हियर इन कनाडा बट बिफोर आई जंप टू द टॉपिक थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग सो मच लव टू माय लास्ट वीडियो अबाउट हाउ टू गेट अ जॉब हियर इन कैनेडा फ्रॉम इंडिया इफ यू हैव वैलिड वर्क परमिट इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच दैट वीडियो I insist you should watch that video because it contains very basic steps and my email and my LinkedIn is flooded with the messages from people they have got not just one two or three offers they could actually choose which company is suitable for them so congratulations to those who got offer and for those who haven't got it you almost there so just keep working on yourself now the link to the video is in the description box let's start our video okay first of all i'm pretty much sure by end of the video aap disappoint hone wale ho is video se because people in india or anywhere they feel the interview process in canada or in any other country is something going to be super tough or just rocket science but it's not for any organization from any country they expect to hire a candidate who's good in the technology he is going to work be it .net or be it java so the expectations are pretty much same around the globe um so you just need to work on yourself and if you're good in the work you do i don't think you need to worry but you definitely need preparation to crack the interview so first of all for each company the interview rounds can be different so based on the common pattern i'm going to explain you how the common rounds looks like so whichever company you're going to apply you can ask them in advance what interview process is going to look like and they can give you the actual idea about how many rounds going to be there and what is going to be the expectation in each round so you can ask those questions to your company and you will get an idea about it. so let's jump on the rounds so round number 1 round number 1 is usually about the coding round they usually give you a problem statement and that problem statement vary based on your experience if you have 0 to 5 years experience and 5 to 10 years experience problem statement could be different but usually is the same let's take a hypothetical example they'll provide you a string and you have to find out if that string is palindrome or not now what is palindrome if you have given a string in one order even if you reverse the string it's it's going to be the same so for example race car if you reverse race car it's going to be the same string now you when you write the code for such kind of problem statement what they expect from you whether you understand the problem statement correctly So when you read the problem if you have any questions you ask questions logically how logical your questions are how basic your questions are and are you confident enough to ask those questions so basically round 1 ke liye aapko bahut sari practice karni hai sare links description box mein maine de di hai to aap wo websites pe jao jitne bhi problem statements hai unko one by one pen and paper leke solve karne ki koshish karo but more than solving try to understand them अगर आप समझ के करते हो वो कोड तो आप ना कि बस वो वाला प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सॉल्व कर पाओगे बट कोई कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट भी अगर आता है तो बिकॉज योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द कोड इज क्लियर आप वो भी सॉल्व कर पाओगे सेकेंड द एक्सपेक्ट यू टू राइट द कोड विच कैन रन सक्सेसफुली सो इफ यू कैन राइट अ कोड विच कैन फाइंड इफ द स्ट्रिंग इज पेलिंग रोम और नॉट दैट्स द एक्सपेक्टेशन देन दे चेक इफ यू कोड पास फ्यू टेस्ट केसेस does it handle edge case does it actually work what's the time complexity what's the space complexity and are you able to simplify or optimize code if needed round 1 always need practice and communication once round 1 is done for round 2 round 2 is usually algorithm round now any software developer who is good at their work they should know few algorithms be it sort search traversal through the binary search tree link list handling there are so many algorithms which you should know as a software developer and they check exactly that so there are common algorithms which are expected you to know i have shared couple of links in the description box you can go and check out all the sources and practice them and trust me in most of the interviews and most of the company they don't care if you solve the whole problem they want to see how you approach towards the problem solving how much you understand about the code and logic so make sure you practice with understanding so jitne zyada algorithms aap practice karoge jitne zyada algorithms aapko pata honge that will be added advantage to your second round round 3 is behavior around now in this round they basically want to understand how good developer you are 
So for example, if you have five years of experience, the expectation would be, did you, you know, come across any situation where you found the scope of the story was uh, way more than the expected? And how did you communicate that to your lead or manager? Uh, or the situations where you were given a problem statement which you didn't know how to solve and how did you approach towards the solution. Uh, these kind of questions will be asked. Uh, if you're a senior, they will expect you to, you should have solved some issues in your company which were super tricky or situations which you handle with your senior experience wisely. So they might ask you this kind of questions and see what was the scenario and what did you do in that specific scenario so there are a lot of behavioral questions but more than reading them on the internet i would say sit back think about the work you have done in your company try to figure out the scenarios sometimes you do we do things and we don't even recognize that this, this is some super crazy thing i did right so i would say sit back and try to uh, visualize the stories you worked on the tickets you worked on in your company and try to highlight those real-time scenarios that you handle definitely go on the internet and see how you can articulate that experience in words interviewer get an idea about it but at the same time make sure you give your actual scenarios that will definitely give you added advantage so basically behavioral round me they want to know ki aap kitne mature developer ho. Bhali aap junior ho ya senior ho, they want to know ki apart from your coding, aur kaun si responsibilities hai jo aapne bhoat hi achche se nibhai hai. Uh, round 4 is managerial round. Now in this round, they want to know uh, your history, your background, about your hobbies and basically they want to make a decision if you as a person is a good fit for the company or not. Usually this round is non-technical and you should not expect technical questions here but they might ask you a few tricky scenarios or questions which tells more about your personality. Final round. By the time it's final round, this means that you have cracked interview crack kar diya hai and HR is pleased to give you an offer. But in this round, mein expectations are discussed and the offer is released. So basically, this interview process is in Canada. Mein. And like I said, you will be disappointed because it's not different than any other country. But the only thing that matters is how good you are in your If you're good at your work, if you do your work with utter honesty, I don't think any company have any reason to not accept you as a software developer. I am going to start a series where I am going to solve the interview process ke liye aise jo problem statements hote one by one. Solve karne wali so don't forget to subscribe and see you in another video. Bye!